notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act and that the annual notice which gave sufficient notice at the time, place, and conduct of all public meetings of the New Brunswick Parking Authority has been filed with the City Clerk, has been placed on the appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of City Hall, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and has been transmitted to the official newspaper for the City of New Brunswick, namely the Home News and Tribune, as per the annual notice provided in a resolution adopted by this governing body on December 29th, 1975. We have uh, received minutes from the August uh, regular board meeting. Any uh, corrections, additions, deletions? If, uh, if not, can I get a motion? Make a motion. And a second. I'll second. And we have one abstention. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Mr. Cameron. All right. Thank you. Uh, give me an update on the Jersey Avenue permits. Uh, as of about 10 o'clock this morning, we had 1,100 permits issued. Uh, we're using the LPR to issue reminders in the meantime. Uh, basically, who, are, who is in, in the system yet? We're giving uh, uh, reminders out at the uh, facility, reminding people that they need to sign up by September 30th, or they could uh, obviously get a warning come October 1st when it goes into effect. Uh, but after that, we'll be enforcing a lot there on a regular basis. The bond refinancing went through for the uh, 2010, this is the remainder of the 2010 recovery zone bonds, so a total of $27 million. Uh, the final numbers that were provided by Citigroup show a net savings of $3 million, or which equates to 11% net savings. And again, just a reminder, savings uh, don't begin to be realized until 2021. Ferron demolition, finally. The asbestos abatement is to begin the week of October 3rd. Uh, we're expected duration of three to four weeks, after which the demo should begin right after that. Um, in, in tonight's meeting, in the resolutions, I have an approved <coughs> ferret access agreement, which uh, gives DEPCO the allowance to go in there for the demolition. We don't have that agreement yet, so this takes care of that. And I'll it's not go over. By the option. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, it, the yeah. option gives them to go into the demolition, to do the demolition. This allows them to conduct the demolition. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's, a, it's a right of entry. Right. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Gateway, <coughs> this facility, what we did was we took two pay on foot machines that were located in the wellness second level lobby that weren't used at all. At all. Okay. We put it down near the bridge, so, so this should speed up transaction time for the commuters. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what we'll do eventually when the pedestrian bridge gets built, uh, we'll replace two that we took out of there with two new ones, okay. which is probably a couple of years away. And Morris Street, where we begin the new data park equipment uh, installation on Monday, so that pretty much sets all our garages up with data park equipment and uh, does away with the old feral APD equipment. Good. And lastly, Plum and Passing Street Decks, we began painting lobbies in those facilities, grew some up a little bit, it's been a few years, and that work is underway. That's what I have right now. Okay, great. Right. Uh, the August uh, financial statement was mailed to everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Uh, we are pretty much good with the budget for 2017. We hope to have the committee meeting the first or second week of October and to have the, the presented to the board in the October board meeting. Good. Okay. Legal? Anything? No, thanks, sir. Is there any public comment this evening? Second. Good evening, uh, Charles Crowder, New Brunswick, New Brunswick today. I just want to ask you, is there any update on the uh, investigation, the prosecutor's investigation into the uh, uh, you know, the ballet scam? I've not heard anything. I haven't heard anything. Okay. Uh, so, is the investigation still ongoing, or just have been acquired? I don't know. Okay. I mean, uh, hope hope that by the next meeting, the the, the Authority has more information about it. It's, it's not our investigation, Charles. It's the prosecutors. We'll find out probably when you find out. 
Okay. You may find out before we find out. Well, you'll be <laughs> sure I'll call what I did. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Any other board discussion right now? No. Not. We have two resolutions tonight. Uh, the first uh, is the payment resolution for September. We have a motion for that. And a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And second is the Farron Access Agreement that Mitch mentioned earlier, and this allows DevCo to begin the demolition. Right. On our site. They, yeah, since they don't have physical possession, they need a right of entry to enter it to do the work. Okay. Just, uh, just for informational purposes, uh, North Star Contracting Group will be doing the demolition. Uh, they went out for three bids North Star, Central Jersey, and Brandenburg. North Star was a low bid. Uh, $2,215,000 to demolish the mall. That's with, uh, I'm sorry, that does not include the asbestos abatement, which is another 175000 The other, the next lowest was Brandenburg, which was came in at $2.7 million. So, okay. substantial savings. Okay, any other questions of the finish on that? If not, can I get a motion to approve the access agreement? And a second. second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Okay, Mitch. I have nothing nothing to update on the pedestrian bridge, obviously, until the transporta transportation fund gets uh, funded. On hold. funded. <laughs> yes, that's a key word there. Yeah. Funded. So everything's on hold. Do you have closed session? I do have tonight? closed session. I have uh, I have union issue and a personnel issue. Okay. Thanks. Can I get a motion to go into closed session? A second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, thank you.